For most of us, this is an incredibly weird time in human history. We're in the middle of an epidemic and a pandemic, and there are many other issues that are just soaking up all of our psychic attention and bringing on a lot of anxiety and depression for many people. But despite that, I still know that you can still make this next year the best that it has ever been. Now, in my last video, I shared the fundamental ritual that I think can help you that is simple. But in this video, I want to do a follow-up to those principles. Hey, it's Alex Hine, author of the book on life success habits, Master the Day. Now, I've included a free download below this video, which is for a free goal-setting worksheet to plan out how to actually have the best year ever of your life. All right, so it's the first link right below this video. Now, whereas in this last video, the first one in this series, I talked about this concept of just having your goals on paper and just looking at them multiple times per day. And that by itself is to me the most powerful manifesting exercise. No naked rituals in the wood with witches and you know chickens with slit throats required. But the first principle here in this video is to actually expect the thing you want to have happen to happen. Years ago, before I had ever written any book, I was thinking about this idea of writing a book. Before I'd written Master of the Day, I had been coaching these people. I had this wellness business. Modern Health Monk started off by coaching people through their wellness journey mixed with personal growth. And one day I just started thinking, you know, I should really write a book or a pamphlet because then I could give it to my coaching clients and not have to be this broken record that had the same conversation a hundred times a day. So why don't I put together a little light, little baby book, little pamphlet, and just give it to them? And then they could be reminded of the principles that I see coming up a lot while I'm coaching people. So as time went on, some months went on, I was like, you know what? I think I am gonna write a book this year. I think I really am. And then a month later, yeah, I should really do that. And then a month later, well, what would my chapter one be about? And then another month later, well, how would I open this book? And what would one important chapter be? So as I got to thinking more and more and more about expecting this book to happen, this year I'm gonna write that book. The more I thought about it, the more the ideas came to me. And so one day I'm sitting down in a cafe, one of my favorite cafes, and I just start writing down like ideas for a chapter. Now I write, I write, I write. It's a couple hours. It's my normal afternoon, evening ritual after work. And I get home that night and I open that Word doc and I realize I'd written almost 10 pages of a chapter in my book. I had basically just written a chapter of my book by thinking every day, I'm going to write my book this year. So there is really something magical when you expect a goal to happen the coming year and you kind of infuse your thoughts with it. So your first interaction step is to walk around all day expecting this goal you want to have happen, to happen. This year is gonna be the year I know where I heal from my autoimmune disease. This year is gonna be the year where I actually really do feel amazing internally, regardless of how stressful my life is. This year, I feel really, really confident I'm gonna meet that person that I wanna settle down with. The more you repeat this over and over and over, it saturates your consciousness with this goal that you wanna see come true. The second inner practice for this part two of the video is don't worry about how it's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen. I firmly disagree with this smart goal setting advice that says that you should be setting a time limit on your goal. Because if you've never done that before, how the hell can you know how long it's gonna take to write a book or to lose 20 pounds or to heal from an autoimmune disease or to find your dream person? How can you ever plan the timing? Usually that timing just makes you feel stressed. Here's the good news. 10 years ago, I never ever planned to move to China. I never thought I would have become a badass monk, wannabe mystic, wannabe martial arts master, wannabe Chinese medicine doctor. Eight, seven years ago, I never had a business and never could have seen Modern Health Monk. Six years ago, I had never written a book. Five, four years ago, I'd never shot a video for YouTube. Three, four years ago, I never even thought about enrolling and becoming a doctor of Chinese medicine and having a private practice in California. And several years ago, I never even planned of moving to California or living where I'm living now. And so many of the best things in life, you cannot predict the timing. You cannot predict the how. The same is true for the worst things. 
you often never saw that bad thing coming, right? So how can you plan for things in life when many of the best and many of the worst things are nonlinear? They come through a way that your logic cannot accurately predict. To me, what that means is you just plan for the next step. If your goal for this year is healing, what seems to be like the best method to help you heal from that autoimmune condition or to heal your gut? You just do that now. It'll lead you to the next thing. What is the best bet for meeting the kind of person you want to settle down with right now? Maybe it's getting new hobbies. Then that's what you just focus on now. The first step will lead you to the second step. And of course, the third thing here is take a small action towards it daily. In my opinion, the most underrated procrastination tactic is just simply to choose the easiest habit you can do every day. Rather than the two hour a day workout, choose what's the 20 or 30 minute workout you never miss. If there's something you want to do to get more friends or to date, rather than trying to do these really complex, really stressful, really uncomfortable things, then maybe you just do one social activity per week. So if it is wellness, what's your one daily wellness ritual? If it's finances, what's your one daily financial ritual? And if it is something else like pursuing your passion or following your dharma or some kind of career, then what's the one little daily ritual? If you can find the one little thing to do in alignment with not knowing when, not knowing how, expecting it to happen, you don't know when, you live in this realm of kind of infinite possibility where you know it's going to happen, you don't know when, and you're in a good mood all the time. Those are my three inner practices that I think are really helpful to build off the previous practices I shared in the last video on making the next 100 days of your life. Now, one essential thing that I think can help you is making sure the inner game is staying strong and you're not succumbing to anxiety or depression. One of the best services that can help you do that is called BetterHelp. And it's one of the most amazing modern resources for helping people at this exact moment in history. Now, this video today is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the leading provider of online counseling, which is really counseling for the modern age. You can text a counselor or video chat them and over half a million people have actually gotten counseling through them to date. Now they have different therapists for different purposes and even different goals in life. Every counselor is licensed and the sign up process will actually give you some questions to determine exactly what you need so they can match you with someone. You can text, you can live chat, you can do a phone call or video chat a counselor worldwide. And the pricing for the program is monthly. So rather than per session, you also get unlimited messaging throughout. So if this connected with you guys here today, please go ahead and get connected with your professional counselor at the link below, betterhelp.com forward slash monk. All right, guys, that's what I've got on making the next 100 days the best of your life. I still believe it is absolutely possible. So before you go, check out the BetterHelp link below this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.